the answer questions, I would say one, one of them is the duration of treatment, because the this type of uh, inflammatory disease of the arteries, uh, depending on which arteries are involved, is not always easy to monitor in terms of the inflammatory activity. So, for example, if you use a drug that suppresses the markers of the acute uh, the acute phase proteins like the CRP, uh, you you cannot rely on that. So, you would have to, for example, study whether the ultrasound of the temporal artery is good enough to show improvement uh, or uh, remission. For larger arteries, you can use PET scans. So I think uh, one uh, unanswered question was the duration of treatment, not only for tocilizumab, but even in for the use of steroids. Another consideration that's interesting is that in other immune-mediated diseases, you have reasonably good oral steroid sparing agents. The classical one would be methotrexate, isothioprine, cyclosporin, uh, mycophenomate. Interestingly, in giant cell arteritis, the only uh, steroid very oral steroid very agents, whether there is some evidence that it may help, is methotrexate, whereas the others don't work. So that's another interesting aspect of this particular inflammatory disease, where having a highly effective monoclonal antibody is actually helpful. I would say that as a neurologist, we are often uh, we we often think about this possibility in our headache or general neurology clinics, for example. Uh, but I think in most healthcare settings, it will be the rheumatologist or the ophthalmologist to actually trigger a so-called pathway. Uh, partly because of the need sometimes of biopsy of the temporal artery, but the ophthalmologist and partly by, because there are many rheumatologists are more uh, in, uh, uh, experienced with uh, immunotherapies than many neurologists. However, these are the three specialties that are typically involved. My other impression is that the more you see it, the more you can be reassuring, even on, from the clinical impression. Whereas if you see the odd, the occasional case, you're more likely to want to do more investigations, if you know what I mean.